Time for midweek ranked matinee softball here on the ACC Network Extra as we welcome you to beautiful McCorder Stadium and the fans still piling in for a game that was moved up to 2.30 as we welcome you into the booth alongside the coach and Scott Whitlock. I'm it was 2-1 victory in extra innings in a rain-soaked Athens evening as a pop-up towards the right side by Destiny Rodriguez. An unsung hero a lot of times off this. Zeta Pooney. Power hitting cleanup spot on deck as the off speed has Gibson off balance. Taylor panel certainly a A plus defense for Coach Weekly. Absolutely, and they're playing they're playing Brown to go opposite field as you would with most slap hitters. And it's a perfect bunt down the first baseline. Could Soyanopoulos able to fire over to Rodriguez, and that'll get us loose and running as Julia Kutsoyanopoulos reliant on her curve. Drop combo as this is poked out down the left field line and fair. Mackenzie Clark continues her hitting ways after a clutch three run home run on Sunday. They all figure out. Cagle swinging at the first pitch. This has 6 3 double play written all over it, but it takes Katsoyanopoulos off the bag as Bella Faw's throw is high. So to enhance the, the pace of play and to enhance uh, the consistency. Payoff pitch with the runner on the move. It's popped into shallow left. Easy grab for West as Clemson goes down. And it fills the count here, three and two from Cagle. Riley West on deck. Got her swinging back to back K's as we go back to the changeup that ended the top of the first inning. You in Alabama, up there near the top of the uh, the conference, if not there and there. She catches her looking for strike three. Yeah, flip. so much offensive pressure on you. You have to be careful with everybody. Certainly a top heavy lineup though. We'll get to the bottom here in a little bit as a two hopper finds the shortstop Longaleo and it's six up, six down for Valerie Cagle. We'll be the catcher and Vieira on deck followed by the freshman Kylie Johnson. 3-2, misses high and outside, and Clemson gets a base runner here in the second. And that was a good hard earn, as you alluded to, at bat. She would have not done that. She would have chased that ball. Maddie Moore would have chased the pitch or something, but now she's turned into a very good college hitter. Speed on the base pass as Vieira puts down a bunt. Katsoyanopoulos able to fire again over to Rodriguez, and it's a 3-4 to four sacrifice put by Vieira. Had a phenomenal season behind Ashley Rogers, but Question is, how can Tennessee replace the NFCA Pitcher of the Year? And that's a phenomenal rise ball. Just threw that thing up. The other original Tiger. Has a beautiful front door curve. Pushes the count to one and two. A delayed steal. Gunned out by Nugent. Her first caught stealing as a lady volunteer. And it's set. Because that brings the, the lineup back around and you don't want people on base when they're hitting. Drop ball, tails low, and it's a leadoff walk for Panel, the first base runner today for the Lady Vols. And Daniel. We're going to have a little Olympic talk here around the corner as former Tennessee coach Ralph Re Weekly will join us as Katsoyanopoulos skies one out to Johnson and right. Oh, a late recognition from Panel, but she'll get back in time, and there's one out. 3-2, what an eye on a changeup taken by the freshman fall, and there's two on with one out for Kiki Malloy. And now things get. 1-1, one, one, change up, stroke down the right field line. Johnson to the warning track. It's off the 205 sign. Runners had to hold. Panel gets sent home and she'll score on the RBI double by Malloy. I said it earlier, leadoff walks score. I don't know how, I don't know why, but they always. And That's... now with only one out in the inning, you can see that ball just. You got to understand that ball is tailing away from the right fielder all the way out there. She ran as far as she could. She did a good job actually of getting the ball back in. Game winning home runs against Baylor and Stetson and what a snag by Hiller. Wisely runs towards the base runner in Rodriguez and keeps everyone put for the second out. You know, but you got to remember there and that was a very very heads up play by Hiller. At the MLB level, I've seen an, a miraculous play from Javier Baez. Remember, he ran back, created that, that pickle, but I don't know about on this level. As a two hopper chases Brown to her left, and Cagle able to tightrope out of damage. 
not be forced. The first person I went out for was Mike Candrea. I got Candrea on board and went after John Rittman and saw you, Scott, as uh, Mike Candrea. Oda yeah. strokes one down the first. Well. She'll head over to second for a one-out double as we are joined by Ralph Weekly, the former Tennessee head coach. What's it like? I I'm double with one out. Well, I don't want the lawyers coming after me. I have a lot of respect for them, but uh, uh, you chicken. they're sharp. Rodriguez fires to first, and a chance for Mackenzie Clark here with two outs. Well, that was a productive even of our conversation. Absolutely. Whoops. Line drive to center field. Malloy is there. And with the big hit in the top of the inning, Malloy makes the grab. Ralph, you want to stick with I, I think I'm, I know it happened, but I think it's accurate, too. Well, tell me something. How good is Malloy? Really good, Ab absolutely. And uh, it came down to us in UCLA, and we were fortunate enough to get her. And uh, it was a great four years. You, you see know. a base hit there to right field. Well, Coach Weekly, I'm curious of your seven trips to Oklahoma City. Do you have one memory or one trip that you hold most dear as, as Nugent goes down, second strikeout here this inning? Actually, we're ground ball to third. Brown is there and. Well, Coach, we thank you so much for joining us and hope you have a fantastic rest of your trip here to Clemson. Outfield playing a little bit shaded towards left field as that's where Cagle smashes it past the shortstop in fall and a leadoff single here for the All-American. With the leadoff, well, her being the leadoff runner. And as a freshman in Florida, a complete game shutout against this Clemson team last year as Pickens starts with a rise ball past the catcher in Nugent. That'll push Cagle over to second here with nobody out. Well, there you look Air at Force. You, look at you. Then we're back on Sunday against Fordham as Lungaleo drops the elbow again. Fly ball to left field. Won't have the distance, though, as West times it up and keeps Cagle at second. Well, you don't want to make an out at third base. Mid 50s? Nuts. That's not good. Infield playing back, outfield middle depth, trying to cut out the run at home on a single. And that's exactly what they'll get. More up the middle, Cagle has to hold, and Clemson will have runners on the corners with one out. Yeah, you certainly couldn't run on that, on that play with Malloy coming in from center field. Now the 45 behind home plate, they, they don't think it happened, but. Moore stays put at first. The 0-1, row two. Dribbles to home, Moore yeah. will take second, but that's a run-saving stop by Nugent. Yes, it was. Field has moved back just a bit, but a ground ball should certainly test it at home. Runners at second and third here with one out, and a 2-2 pitch. A late life on the heater has Vieira swinging and missing. That was a good pitch. Now, back zone, I think you would freeze her. Another 3-2, misses high, and Kylie Johnson works a clutch walk to fill the bases of them here for five years. One of the OG Tigers. Just one for 15 this season is high. And the ball gets to the backstop. Baumhar comes in and scores. Clemson wow, ties that. it up. That ball, you watch right here. That ball just jumped. It hit the screen. Yes, that, that was a huge, huge jump on that rise ball. Pickens responsible for these two as a ground ball finds Fall, another freshman. She'll fire across the diamond. And very similar to what we saw on the third, Clemson scrapes across a run, but strands a few. Is Go out and have a shutdown inning. And I think getting this leadoff batter is huge. 3-2 pitch, oh, off the left leg of Cagle, and that'll be an infield single. Could Let's not see. have felt good. Let's see if she's all right. You know it well. One, two. Ground ball up the middle. Sliding stop made by Moore. She'll flip to short for the grab, and Lungaleo will hold it for the fielder's choice. That was a pretty snappy. If she's going to hit something, she's going to hit my pitch, not hers. Oh, Malloy goes after one in the dirt. Late steal successful by Mueller. Very well done, by the way. The ball was released. It's pretty, pretty obvious. Jim Cooper. Has ruled the runner out. Yep. Of the recruiting efforts to get Kiki from UCLA swapping over to Tennessee as Malloy goes down on the drop ball. Cagle struts out of the circle with a shutdown frame. 
I will tell you embarrassingly how I know here in a second as Oda chops one over to Rodriguez, fires the first in time. You obviously have not seen. The if Clemson were able to uh, squeak a run out between now and the bottom of the seventh, they would likely not have to face Malloy and again. A lot of Clemson up between teams that have that one generational talent on either side, and you always have that spot in the lineup circled. Oh, it's the changeup that worked so well for Pickens in this matchup last season, and it's set. Should be a great crowd. I assume a lot of orange in attendance up there. Got her swinging. Rodriguez again on the drop ball as Cagle goes back to the well. 60 RBIs last season. Drives it up the middle. Oh, tough hop, but Moore is there, and she has been tremendous at the Keystone. She let that ball just kind of. This in the supers. Fell in the semifinals to Florida State. And a one, two, three inning for Cagle. She's getting better as the game goes on. And they seem to be in very much control themselves. Cagle's first matchup with Pickens today, and she will bunt it right back to the pitcher. And that's where mind games have to play in effect. Don't needing to fill the spots. From Ashley Rogers, who threw over 140 innings last year. A high chopper challenges the freshman Faw, who gets it on the high hop. What a play. That was a nice play. But saying they just giving credit where credit's due. Called strike three. Moore goes down looking. Pickens able to keep pace with Cagle. And we are off. One, two, chop down the third baseline, in and out of the glove of Brown, but she has the firepower to make the throw. Good job of remaining patient. To have gone 2-8. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Certainly a lot of pop. This is into the glove. And an early birthday present for Cagle for out number two. And that's not an accident. Valerie this much, the 45, didn't like the call. Well, the string has been pulled. Nine strikeouts for Cagle and Clay Johnson and Hyatt here in the bottom of the lineup for the Tigers as an awkward swing finds its way fair to Gibson and a quick throw over to first for out number one. Yeah, that's a, that was a... Johnson swings at the first pitch, pops one out to Malloy in center. We know that pretty much the entire center field area against Missouri. Three softly hit, created balls by Pickens, and we are off to the eighth. Tied at one. Freshman spot and fall on deck, and a swinging strike and a spinning swing as well has Cagle to Horton the glove of fall is. And she rips one into the glove of Cagle. What a grab. Hey, that pop pitch you want her to swing at. 63 career home runs for Kiki Malloy. And she'll rope one out to right for a two-out single. Well, you know what? I'll live with it. With a couple soft outs and a strikeout against Cagle. Hard hit. Picked up by Brown, and she'll fire it across the diamond. Well, the barrels were there for Tennessee, but Clemson's gloves were there as well. Bottom of the eighth. get a base runner here if you're the Tigers. Pickens able to do her best Cagle impression. PFPs have been focal. Yes, they have, but that right there. Hit, one walk, but the wild pitch that tied the game. The 0-1 from the sophomore is squibbed out to short. Fall has been phenomenal at that shortstop position. There's two outs. I'm telling you, they, I mean, Clark is just outstanding. It's a hit in front of Cagle. 2-0 swing, finds Faw's glove. Throw is high. Clark will head to second. That throw is high, and Clemson has the winning run in scoring position. Well, yeah. Meanwhile, that Clark swing was ruled a single for those keeping score at home. Well, how about that? And an error on the shortstop fall uh -huh. to push her to second. So the safe two veteran coaches. One big one at stake here. 0-2 to Lungaleo. Chopper to second, Rodriguez to first, and we are headed to the ninth. Pickens with an emotional response. Send Florida. Wound up victorious as a swinging bunt. Tess Brown again. We have seen the same defenders come up big. 
Mooney finds the glove of Lungaleo. Hitting coaches, fielding coaches, every coach can just turn away on that. Nine total hits. And a hitter's count. Puts West on with two outs. Okay. Payoff pitch, runner on the move, and it's laced to deep right center. Clark watches it hit the top of the wall. Moving around third, throw home is late, and the Lady Vols take the lead. Nugent makes her mark in her first season. One more look to see Clark's path, and she never, never could have caught that. No, 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 she couldn't catch that ball. She did everything she could do to, to deke the, the base runner. But as you saw, after that double. There's a small group wearing a different shade of orange, making noise. Now ball down the first baseline, handled by Hiller. And we head to the bottom of the ninth inning. More. One, two, dribbled up the middle, diving, and it gets by Rodriguez for a leadoff single. See what happens when you... Second base, I think yeah. about potentially running. Defense plays for the bunt. Vieira swings away and skies one to right. Leach fresh into the contest. will line it up and make the grab for out number one. And there's, there's Clemson down to their final two outs. Tennessee looking for a hard hit ground ball. 2-2, two, two, got her swinging. And the reaction from Pickens. The senior from Buford. Out to the 5-6 hole in the... Deep depths of short, Faw makes the throw, and Tennessee comes to Clemson and wins in extras. And what a terrific ball game. Two to one, this game will be remembered a long time. What a great game. These two teams, I think, are both destined to go to, uh, to the playoffs this year. I think they may have three over number 11, Clemson. Pickens with the win, beating Cagle on the game-winning hit by Nugent as we sign off.